Welcome back to Weekend with the Weebs. Uh, this, uh, this is just not. This is just a mini cast. Mini cast number two. We just got. Actually, last week we got back from the anime convention. We're gonna talk about that real quick. Don't mind me doing jutsus. This is in Japan. Why are we doing jutsus in the corner? Hey, hey, it's not like they do them over there either. It's it's just the. I, they don't. They don't. But we are the subtitles. We are the subtitles. We are the subtitles. Dude, Filthy Frank is a god. And I, He's I, a god. If you will, and I'm glad he ended when he did. He's gonna always be on top. He'll never fall yes. below. But that's you know, I'm thinking actually taking that and like downloading every single one of those videos and putting it on like a disc and like having a shrine to it, and then like or just I, bury it one day. And it's like, oh, what the hell is this? Yeah, this could no, be like no. ancient government secrets. My, and then you put it, it's like, kids, uh, what's up? <laughs> when my kids, uh, like you know, someday want to know. Um, where babies are made. I'm just going to be like, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> It'll inform you of something. It was, it, I don't know if it's what you're looking for, but inform you about it's something. something. So last week, we got back from Dashokan. It's Dashokan. Dashokan. I can't say it right. Nor can I. I failed a million times. Yeah. Um, it was my first anime convention. It was very fun for me, but I, I we're gonna go. I'm gonna go over my. It was, I was there the whole, almost the whole weekend. I yeah. left Sunday. I got there Friday. But uh, I had quite an interesting experience before Nathan got there. Like, like when you picked me up, you were like, "Dude, are you high?" Like, yeah, okay. So I, I called him. So we get there with my. I girlfriend. was asleep as he called me. I was still in bed. <laughs> we get there with my girlfriend and. Um, I call and I ask you, like, what? I'm like, <laughs> yo, I told you, like, be ready at, like, 8, eight o'clock. Eight. Yeah, and something need... like that. And I'm like, we're here. And he's, you're like, oh, fuck, I need to eat food. Fuck. <laughs> and I'm like, do you want me to bring you a donut? And you're like, no, I'm hungover. And I'm like, do you want a Gatorade? And it's like, no. Like, I, like, I went down the stairs to the lobby, ate the breakfast. And then I, like, then I was walking. I'm, like, walking out of the side of the room with, like, a sword. It was, I went, it was, it was very fun. It was, and then, of course, we had to squeeze you in the back of the truck. And I was, I don't know, but, like, okay, so the night before, he wasn't there. I went to the actual, this, see the vending stuff to see what they were selling because I kind of want, uh, you know, I want to get a preview before he got there. And then I went to an 18-plus panel because after, I think, was it, 1030? They like you can. They have like the adult pants, like the ones yeah. that aren't not safe for kids, not safe for work, whatever. And they're really they're just they're just funny and they're more inappropriate. And they can like they can actually say say stuff. say stuff, take off the shackles of correctness. And I actually I met, I like randomly went with this group that I, that I had to like do a competition with. It was just mm-hmm. very funny, and. They were, some guy was giving out like this Thanos brew, which was like six types of alcohol. It was purple and it had six types of alcohols in it, alcohol in it, and it had like each one representing the Infinity Stones. Hey, hey, Joe. Yeah. After drinking them, did you not feel so good? I I did not I did not feel good at all. Well, I felt great, and then uh, and then I then I went with, then a bunch of stuff happened, and I woke I was eight o'clock, and then it was four o'clock when I got back to my apartment. Not apartment, hotel room. And I feel like it's an epic trilogy. We're still trying to piece. Yeah, it I'm together. still piecing it together. Like, okay, I remember seeing like old ladies. I remember seeing like a lady in a wheelchair that really wasn't in a wheelchair. She just using. Sure, you were having like some kind of mental breakdown. Did, did, did I have like? I will be. I, we'll get into that later. But uh, I, I also remember like the lobby being full of people dressing up as like RuneScape bots, like. Promoting their like video game store and well, gaming store. Okay, I, I, I'm still piecing the. I don't remember the exact. Look, remember, I'm like, did I have? Was there drugs in that drink? I don't know. But whatever. Probably. Whatever. Did you Did you check your kidneys? Make sure you. Know I make, I both. think they're both still there. They're both still there. Okay, but like, you probably would have died then. Yeah, but it, it was fun. I had fun, and then I woke up, and I was eight o'clock, four hours of sleep. He called me I'm like. And then I would walk out of the side of the road with my sword. It was great. It was yeah. Great. Yeah, no. Um, Do you want to talk about the non safe for work panel we also went to? Oh, yeah. So all three of us went down to this. Uh, I was this, third wheeling. This, this, this panel was pretty special. It was about bad fan fiction reading. 
And, um, yeah, not like our videos are ever, uh, ever safe, really, for young, young audiences, but, uh, no, this, this might get a little, a little up there, so, we were, uh, we were reading, or, they were reading one, the first one was essentially about Bleach, and how, like, it sucks, yeah, basically, Basically the the author drank Bleach, and it was all, like, his weird dream as he died, and then, like, you know, I don't know. The second one, I don't remember the second one, but the, I remember all of them, I just don't remember the order besides yeah, the last yeah. two. So the next one, the next bad fan fiction was, wasn't that the... That was the Phoenix Wright one. The Phoenix Wright one, which is clearly written by, like, a, a kid that was either Maybe 12 10. or 10 to 13. Like, he was still in middle school. Mm. It, and even then, like, my writing in middle school was better than that. It was horrible writing. It was about how Phoenix Wright hated his math homework. Yeah, ah. it's really weird. And then someone called him, and they're like, "Yo, you beat the guy. You have to like solve the mystery." And like, but literally, they're like, "Okay, we're gonna read one paragraph verbatim." And it was like, like I do a lot of spelling errors. So, That's but why I literally like, this was like not readable in any script. Like and, it was. <laughs> and then there was the one where the D, which DC character was it? Deathshot. Uh, yeah, I think it wasn't Deathstroke. I always uh, say Deathstroke, but one DC yeah. villain, like, killed Bruce Deadshot, Clues. Yeah. And, yeah, and Steve. And Steve. Like, okay, that's fine. I guess you watch... And it was, Blue- like, some guy from the 70s show that him to do it or something. No, th- this is what was weird. The person who wrote it, according yeah. to them, had, like, a 90s wrestler in their name. So they'd be, like, 30 if they were, like, watching at a, a, a reasonable like, age. What do you have against like, what do you have against Blue's Clues as a 30-year-old? Like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And then there was the Zelda, like, really oh. graphic. Oh, that was... Not uh, even graphic, but just really overly sexual, but not entirely accurate. Yeah, like, no, they, uh, they described, quote, a... Pistoning uh, the dick? Oral sex. It's oral sex the, the dick. dick. Um, Which, if you're at a, 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 a decent blowjob, you know like, that's not accurate. Like, come on. Like, pistoning the t- <laughs> That's, like, the weirdest word to use. I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. But I don't know. The whole they thing, wrote, like, they were, they were, like, uh... Clearly a dude that was... Well, no, I don't even think they were, because, like, I... There was this one part where it was, like, this is gonna get weird, but the, like testicles constricted it's like, like unless it was really cold there you know i don't know like that sounds just sounds painful what yeah I, like? I don't know what was going on there and it then was there were so they weird. read my immortal which is a very oh, that's, famous that's a famous boy. a famous harry potter fan fiction which just look up my immortal fanfic on youtube and it's it's pretty funny the live it's, action versions of those it's pretty uh it's pretty special it's like you're oh my god a lot of brain cells. you're like your brain's going to feel like it's on fire by the end. literally like, ah! when we came out in it we were like stumbling i was, I was like in vision and then we got out into the parking lot i couldn't speak reading, right and we were all like just like dry heaving into the ground i couldn't speak right this is way after i like sobered up too we were like, all like just like it, it but oh, now you might be just thinking like that's not a great convention. But we had a good time. I yeah. I bought a sword. I bought a lot of pins. I bought a Mega Man plushie. <laughs> I don't have it on me. Uh, we, we I had to, something we, signed by we, one of my voice actors. I like. I I also bought. Wait wait. I wait, bought Bowsette. I'll be right back. I'll um, be right back. A Bowsette. Um, what's it called? Mouse pad. It's very cool. I think you should put the plushie as the thumbnail for the I video. Should, I should. Just to get that thought out there yeah, before yeah, it goes. Okay. But um okay. oh this is what he this is what he's gonna show. I don't remember what this even is. Oh, it's something got signed yeah. by one of the Alright. I don't even remember who it was. Alright. I'm not I I one piece is a full time job for me. So this is this is it's all, it's that signed by the English author of uh or not author voice, um, actor. voice actor of uh Ichigo and Darling in the Franks, which is like one of my personal life who's can call me trash. What is the banana in the background? Like what is that? Yes, yeah, so this this special Oh I right forgot here. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Special section. So there was a guy that he had to yeah. find. Yeah, so oh, wait, uh, you can't see it. Yeah, we'll, well, we'll, I, you we'll can figure see it. it out. We'll figure it out. So 
anyhow, um, there was this guy who was dressed up as like a samurai with, a, with a doge mask, oh, like yeah. you know the Shiba Inus. He posted these things. You could tell he got there early. They everywhere, were everywhere, everywhere, and they were like much reward. It's like if you find this... prize, like must find and stuff like the whole Doge lingo. I found him. I'm like, hey, yo, dude, am I supposed to find you? And then he just like turns around. He's like, wait, what? And he's like, oh yes, you have found me. <laughs> I have much reward for you. And he pulls out this really. All right. All right if you have go. a background on, it, okay, worry. okay. Can oh, that's focus, not even. Focus, oh, oh, focus, focus. oh, 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 this really it's, derpy it's banana. A, it's a banana. It's, it's, it's a really a derpy with banana. A, with a fucking face on it. Yeah, it's really, it's really just. There, there we go. go. Yeah. It's really, it's We're really derpy. And then I'm like, okay, okay, I'm going to cherish this for the rest of my life. And he's like, oh, yes, please do. And then Joe's like, I'm going to hold you accountable. Every time I come to your house, I'm going to be like, where's the nanner? Nanner. Nanner's all, yeah. So. That was our. I don't think. What else happened? Uh, I oh, mean, yeah, I, so, I was. I'm still piecing together the first day, so we can't really comment on that. Um, I went undefeated in some Gundam game. Oh nice. yeah, I. Uh, we were doing the swords thing, and we were oh, both yeah. really. There are people that actually do, do this as a sport. Like, what's that uh, called? Ooh, I need to look it up. We'll, we'll put it in the it's description. Bell right something. Um, well, basically, you have these foam swords, and you like fight knights with it. And it was fun. It was really fun. Yeah, we were just it was, like it was when there was the two of us when we were just fucking. Around. Yeah, and when there was this guy who, like, first off, I was like, I had one leg left. He was anyhow, the, and he just went like, like do, yeah, no, and two like, like south six minutes just hitting him with my pole arm. I couldn't get yeah. down. It sucked. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah, no, that was that was yeah. special. So, all right, do you remember that? channel that you showed me recently yes. not recently like i think a couple Ian months ago peter kane dog training also the, known as our lord and savior the guy who got raped by a female sasquatch yes all right wh wh what's the story with that because okay. he doesn't have nearly enough recognition as, and now so, that we're helping but whatever so all right so i found this i i posted it um on on the channel as well, yeah. me just reviewing a few of his videos, but that was just like scraping the surface. Okay, Dude. first thing you gotta know about this guy is he's a dog trainer. Okay? That's what most majority of his channel videos yes. were. Yes. Okay, they were like legit stuff on how to train your dog. Pretty cool, chill. Then one day, his raven got pissed at him because he has a pet raven. It's pretty cool. I mean, those are pretty hard animals to have. Um, but. It got, like, super pissed, and he's like, it's an asshole, and, like, started just, you know, all that stuff, and then eventually, it just devolves from there. He just becomes this tortured soul yeah, that's, like... I, I have a feeling he needs, like, help. I mean, granted, he's a comedian, so it could just all be satire, and it probably is. Yeah, probably but, is, uh, yeah. There's, there's one where he, um, he claims he was raped by a... a female Sasquatch uh, out in the woods. And <laughs> the he, terms he uses yes, in that video are He, he great. refers to a blowjob as a knobber. He's like, she started giving me a knobber. And then he also uh, he also refers to his, his, his scrotum as a scroto and his penis as the, uh, the ween. So he's like, there's one quote in there. Do you have the exact quote? It's, it's getting me, like, mildly paraphrased, but right, I, I pretty right. much know it by heart. It's, <laughs> my ween's going to be breaking out with something, and it's not going to be the herp. So, anyhow, uh, I, I explored a little deeper into this man. That's the only video I watched his. What else did he post about? Okay, so he has, he has basically three types of videos on his channel. He has the dog training ones, which are normal. His Bigfoot ones, where he literally finds these parts of Bigfoot, and he, like, shows them off. Um, there's also ones where he talks about that Bigfoot who raped him, and how it tried to come back for child support. Uh, it's, it's really, yeah, you're looking it up now. I mean, like, he has, like, he has, like, 4,000 videos, so there's probably a lot of content there. Yeah, yeah, um, it's like this lore, man. And then he has, his, his probably strangest videos are of him shopping. Because whenever he goes into a supermarket, 
he doesn't judge that supermarket necessarily on what they have. The main criteria is how many hot ladies hang out there. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, he's just like, I don't know. He's got a pigeon. For, okay, this is one of his... Uh, oh, the, the classic Bigfoot. Can a dog take on Bigfoot? The next one, looking for Bigfoot while training dog. Next one, forgot wallet, Home Depot, hot women, dog training with gun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope this... I don't know. There's a lot of stuff here. It's one of those things. Like, like you can go either comedy, way. I don't like, know. Yeah, it could like, be a, tr- a devoted troll, or it could just be like... Some guy who's slowly losing his mind. I don't know. His uh, his artwork is really weird too. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've had the, the pleasure to see any of that. It's like really trippy. Do I just and search like, Peter Kane artwork? You could. I will It'll that. come up. Um, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's really interesting. It's like Trump with like ten dicks on his head and stuff, and it's like these weird trippy like paper mache tool images. It's it's weird. Oh my god. It's weird. That is weird, man. I don't know. Um Um yeah. Dude, what the what oh my god. What, what? the fuck is this shit? It's like <laughs> it's art, real. Alright, so that's that's it. That's <laughs> oh my god. Like so uh Donald Alright that I guess he's an anti Trump guy. Fair enough. Yeah, he's I mean there's a plenty of those in the world. Wait, he's a Republican? Yeah, but he's not. He's, he's not, not a Trump, Trump guy. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I mean, those are two different things at this point. Yeah, uh, so that one is Trump uh, would it, would having it, sex with a, a cac- bull. I thought it was a cactus. Oh, well, that too. He I gotta see. With a lot it's 16000 Who's going to buy this shit? Uh, well, fair enough. Let's see. I mean, homeless will suck dick. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. Oh my god, that's like... Pretty gl- bad. Yeah, we'll also link this in the description. This is just great. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, what? Yeah, we also, uh, yeah, he also has another one that's like, like some of his regular art, like, if it were cheaper, you know, I'd buy it because it's cool. But no, his ones where it's like Trump just like screwing a cow with a fetus in it, it's a little weird. And it's weird, like, it's like a Trump begging for money, and he's got, like, a glory hole in his wall. Yeah. What the hell? That's, that's really weird. weird. That's weird, man. I don't it's, know. it's a special snowflake. It, it truly is, and that's not even a bad term for it. It's just a, no. it's just interesting. It's a, unique. Yeah, and then he also, like, I want to meet some of his, like, friends on the channel, because, like, he always, like, describes these friends um, and stuff. Like and people he he, he mentioned knows yeah he, he mentions them yes and I, like hey is this guy like for real or yeah is he well, like, uh, also one of his probably better videos are his Tinder updates oh where god. he talks about his dating life and it's, it's beautiful man oh my god I, I I try to keep that like anybody who openly is about their dating life I just don't like that unless it's comedic like this yeah like I'm like dude I don't really care I just mind your own business. It's kind of like those couples that, like, post, um, like, post with each other on social media. Like, like constantly. Like, yeah, and it, it almost doesn't have any more because everyone's out of high school, but, uh... Oh, yeah, no, it's, like, together forever. And then they One break month up later. later. <laughs> I hate you! Yeah, it's just stupid. I don't know, man. All right, so our next topic of discussion is bathroom graffiti. Now... This this occurs in a lot of men's bathrooms. It can be seen in places of political intrigue, like college campuses, high schools, libraries, even high schools, There's your a lot. local Walmart, anywhere really. And we we, we we have some beautiful ones um, that we'd like to share that have remained in our hearts for a long time. Well, like the reason why this came up was I we were at Barnes and Noble before we filmed this. And mm-hmm. it's a bookstore. Mm-hmm. And I went to the bathroom, did my business, but on the stall door, I put it lightly, okay? <laughs> on the stall door, there was like, um, it had like someone, okay, so let me show you. This is what it looks like. It's a, someone posted a, like a, a, it's pol- a sticker. A sticker, a <laughs> it's stuck st- there. And they tried to get it off, but they failed horribly. And from what you can still read, it sounds like some they're explaining how Bush did 9-11. You've seen this one. I, I don't know. I, it's, 
the problem is most of it's like taken away, and it's just luckily. Like, yeah, fair. Oh, I want to what it says now. I, I can only push the piece. It's, it's, like a, a, it's a sacred mystery. Yeah, I will never know what he actually said unless I see it again or look. I lost some of these words off, or whatever. What bathroom graffiti did you want? To okay, so this one comes from a very special place called the third floor men's bathroom library in the, the common library of the University of Wisconsin Platteville. Now, this is one of my favorite places to take shits. Um, and we, like, you left at mine? All right, never mind. Keep going. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. So it's, it's a nice, calming place. It's like secluded in the library. No one knows about this bathroom. And I went in there, and on the wall it said, Here I lie, broken hearted, tried to shit, but nearly farted. And I cried when I saw it. <laughs> That's like beautiful. The next one. Uh, which is arguably better, um, comes from the first floor of the Carmen Library. Um, and it, it has, it has uh, on the walls, um, they're ranking the, the toilet chinning experience like it's a video game. Um, and it's, one of them is like, like Skyrim, but with poop. Nine out of ten. As elaborate as Earthbound. And like all this stuff, like... It's like I like that. That there, there was one where it's like, then like there's the naysayer one. Like, yeah, it was wor- It was worse than Fallout, or I had a Fallout uh, seventy eight or whatever that one was. Seventy six. Seventy six. Okay, yeah. Um, and then there's also this thing that says "Look behind the door," and they have like these signs because I guess people are like stealing toilet paper. They're like. Don't steal the toilet paper, which I don't get because it's, like, bolted into the thing. Not only that, like, <laughs> if, if you live on that campus, right? Yes. Like, why, why else? Uh, exactly. Like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Like, unless you want to TP something, I guess. But, you know. I don't know. That's a different definition. Anyway, anyway, you, like, it says look behind, and you, like, open it up, and it's got a giant eye and one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and it just says, got you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like, this is beautiful. You know, the one I remember a lot is I didn't really, I, most of the time, I don't look, I mean, either, either I haven't seen them or I haven't been looking for graffiti. But I remember in high school, I always went, I did the same thing. I went to the secluded bathroom. There was a few of them nobody just never went to. Where deep. you pray to the toilet gods. Yeah, and uh, I, I don't remember specific any of them. I don't remember a specifically one, but I remember the one in the lunchroom, the men's one. That one was like full of the, the middle stall was full of fucking oh, yeah. graffiti. It was hilarious. I, there was a ton of like you got your typical swastika and like hate symbols and typical yeah, racial slurs, yeah. uh, uh, ethnic like slurs, stuff like that. That was about what you saw in the middle. But like it was, the thing about it was it was all over that middle stall. And that's the one I mainly went in. Just not my wearing that one, but whatever. See. There was one in that same school that yeah. had Nazi Squidward art. It was Squidward's face, and this thing was a huge, like, mural. Like, this was, like, from top of the stall to bottom of the stall. Someone took the time with this, and it was Squidward's face <laughs> just surrounded by poorly drawn swastikas. And Holy. it was, like, just horrible. Like, why would you do this? Like who takes you're the to, time? You're gonna have to tell me where that was in the school. Or not. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, it uh, doesn't matter. Where, where was it in the school? Um, that was the one um, by, like, you, you go down the main like entrance, yeah. and then you turn right, and then you know how there's like those two there. It was the main oh, bathroom. Oh, yeah, that was, was, was. I never went to that one. Yeah, so yeah, it was interesting. Um, that's it was funny. huge. Yeah, like I remember the ISS room. Not to be, not to diverge, but like. Every desk in there was a mural of just ethnic and racial slurs. It's funny. And, like, swastikas. It really isn't. It, what? It, it really isn't, but it kind of, like, yeah. What, why isn't it? I don't know. They were full of people, like, describing, like, horrible things in them. It wasn't a mural, but it was just, like, you know, I said it was 25 cents to see God. Dude, you are you. Ever since I showed you that, you love that video, like Dude. the Ed and Eddie par- horror parody. Search that. That is fucking hilarious. Dude. And like, go and it's like, it's like, oh, what's what? What are you selling now? It's like, what's your scam? It's Ed and Eddie, and like, 
can never watch that show. I, I love anime. It's like, I never watch that show. You can, you can show. judge a man based on his favorite anime and Western cartoons. Like that's how you that's how you judge a man. Oh, like, right. If yours is JoJo's, I can judge you based on that. Mine's can you judge me on the courage of the cowardly dog? See, you have class. Though. Like, I have class. Like you know, girl's mustache. Like, <laughs> milady. Milady. <laughs> Uh, well, was perfectly timed. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, okay, back to the video. I'm not going to spend. Just search Ed and Eddie Horror Perry. It's great. Is that what we're going to talk about today, or do you have anything else? I don't know. I think we should end it here. Um, yeah. All right. That was the mini cast. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you got out some good video recommendations from this. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, I gave you a straight face. I thought you were going to. Yeah.